All right, everyone, today we're going beyond the light as we prepare for year four of Destiny 2. There's lots of new abilities coming with the introduction of the new stasis subclass, and in today's video, we're going to look at what this means for the Hunter's class ability, the exotics you'll need, and how the new slow dodge aspect is going to change PvP forever. So if you're hyped for Beyond Light, give this video a rating down below, sub to the channel if you're new, and let's get into it. This is the second in the series of Beyond Light Stasis build previews. We've already covered the Shade Binder, and now it's time for the Revenant to shine in the Frost Light. This all new Stasis subclass is going to benefit from the Aspect and Fragment system, where items discovered in the world can be used to alter and create unique subclass builds in Beyond Light. Aspects will be class specific, whereas Fragments can be used by all. We know very little about the slow dodge aspect, teased by Bungie compared to other examples from the breakdown, but it's probably one that players are going to lean into the most and has potential for some interesting gameplay mechanics when combined with the freezing withering blade melee and the shatter dive aspect. So let's look at some exotics and how these are going to improve your slow dodge builds for Beyond Light. Gemini Jester is the first exotic that comes to mind for every single hunter out there, as they just seem to be a perfect fit. The intrinsic perk Misdirection will disorientate nearby enemies and temporarily remove their radar. This is already a super useful exotic in PvP, and so if the slow dodge aspect impacts opponents through walls too, just like Gemini Jesters do, this is going to be the pinnacle sweaty go to. They are underutilised though in PvE and work just as well at stopping close range aggro from mobs. It'll be interesting to see how these end up working out. The Bombardiers however are a different story. Parting Gift is the intrinsic perk, whereby dodging leaves behind an explosive that detonates after a short delay, damaging enemies around it. So not only will you be slowing enemies down with the aspect, but you'll also then be blowing them up with this exotic. Definitely not quite as handy as Gemini, but they give you a step up in landing that final blow in PvP, not to mention the increased utility everywhere else. Next up, and given that we will be in the frozen wasteland of Europa, Frosties fit the bill. The rapid cooldown intrinsic perk will increase grenade, melee and dodge regeneration while sprinting. Dodging increases your sprint speed. These are generally a very underrated exotic, but they have a great neutral game. They reduce the need to spec into mobility, discipline or strength as merely sprinting will do the job for you. Plus you're getting a double bonus here that not only will your enemies become slower from your stasis dodge, but you will become faster too. An absolute win-win if you ask me. Lastly, the 6 Coyote will grant you the double dodge ability, which obviously has huge benefits when paired with the slow dodge aspect. As to whether this will stack the slow status effect on your enemy, or increase the timer of the slow effect if you double dodge nearby enemies, remains to be seen. But again, it's a great neutral game exotic that is going to see a bigger push in Beyond Light. Now as for weapons to pair with these builds, it'll be tough to prize every hunter's crutch of the Dire Promise and Felwinter's Lie, but we're going to mix it up and throw the Monarch into the build. Not only will you be slowing, disorientating or blowing up enemies, but you can also poison them too, inflicting damage over time on somebody struggling to move. On top of that, a Wither Horde Blight would be the ultimate disrespect on somebody struggling to move, as a few ticks of damage will wipe them out. There's already some seriously broken builds springing to mind, but for now I'm going to leave you with that as food for thought. Beyond Light is going to be immense and I'm looking forward to seeing what's possible with the new stasis abilities. Let me know in the comments what you're looking forward to the most. We are going to be covering everything in terms of builds, weapons and mods in year 4. So you know what to do, subscribe if you're new here, it is a free and easy way to support the channel. If you found this video helpful or if you too have got that Beyond Light stasis itch, like I said before, go see a doctor. But no, seriously, give us a rating down below too, it helps the channel out and it's always greatly appreciated. That's it for this one though, so on that, and as always, thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you next time.